Hello everyone, uh, this is Sid and I am right now in one of the southeastern suburbs of Melbourne. Today we have decided to go to a very scenic lake of Victoria, which is about three and a half hours of drive from where I am right now. So it's going to be a really long drive, but the best part is it's going to be a really scenic drive. We will be heading towards Alpine Ranges where this lake is situated, not that far from Mount Bula, one of the biggest attractions of uh, Victoria. And also we will go through the Hillsville, the Yarra uh, ranges and the whole of the Yarra. So it's a, it's a beautiful scenic drive that we are very excited and waiting to go through. So let's not waste any more time. Let's uh, drive off now. So stay with us. See you soon. So we took the Marunda Highway route via the Yara Glen all the way to Ia, a small town on your way to the actual destination of Lake Hilton. So we took a little break here. This is the town of Ia, Y-E-A, Ia. And it's a country town, of course, uh, really well placed, uh, not that far from where our final destination is. Um, at the moment, you can see the, the leaves are turning beautiful in the bottom colors. So let's uh, show you around this place. Ia is about 100 kilometers to the northeast of the state's capital, Melbourne, at the junction of the Goulburn Valley Highway and the Melba Highway. It is located in the Shire of Morindindi, which is the local government area. In an area originally inhabited by the Tongurong people, it was first visited by Europeans of the Hume and Havel expedition in 1824. And within 15 years, most of the land in the area had been taken up by graziers. This building was from the 1887. It was a commercial store in those days. And now obviously revamped to suit the purpose. Served in 1855, the township grew as a service center for grazing, gold mining and timber getting in the area. So in that case, this town was established in 1855, has a stable population of around 1100 people and the town economy is based around servicing farming sector and tourism with some good road links but little public transport. As we stopped over at Ia for a quick lunch break, my family decided to enjoy the historic ambience of this fantastic cafe in the heart of Ia. However, when it came to me, I chose to spread the love around, went to the next door cafe, picked up a nice and warm juicy pizza, and then headed off to the nearest park to have some lovely, nice and warm pizza. Amongst the natural beauties of this town. Alright, the pizza is ready now. Let's uh, have some pizza. It's chicken pineapple pizza. And look at that autumn leaves set up there. Amazing. Now we have some wasps troubling us, so hopefully that's a bit of a challenge to go through. But look at that, we are just under the autumn leaves and with those autumn leaves on top of us, we are right now having a beautiful pizza. So after a quick lunch break, we were all set now to head over to the destination that we were after, Lake Ilden. Lake Ilden basically is a popular dam of Victoria. The construction of the Greater Ilden Dam commenced in 1951 and was completed in 1956.
The capacity of Lake Ilden is 3.3 million megaliter of water. It was expected to take five years to fill it. However, it actually filled in less than 18 months in the wet year of 1956. During the construction of the Eildon Dam, approximately 4,000 people were housed in the new township of Eildon. Construction of the town commenced in 1950 and was completed in 1952. So finally, we have reached the place that was waiting for us, as if Mother Nature is at her best exactly when we came here. So right in front of me is the actual Lake Ilden. So let's have a look at Lake Ilden from really very close first. The times, obviously this talks about the boating safety information here at the Lake Ilden, as you can see. And that's what the guidelines there. And this is where the location is. That tells you about um, how far stretched this whole lake is. It's a beautiful sight. And obviously, with Mother Nature being so kind here, uh, this is a little bit of a... It's in a part of the nature's park, so obviously you can do a bit of camping here. And that's what my family has done just now here. So they are busy camping. It's a temporary one. We just bought a tent. And we thought we will park ourselves here and let's see what we're actually looking at at which is there isn't that beautiful today lake ilden is victoria's most popular inland waterway for recreational boating activities recent transport safety victoria report shows that 58% of recreational boating happens on Port Phillip Bay and coastal areas, leaving 42% of inland waters. 25% of this boating activity happens at Lake Ilden. Lake Ilden has 515 kilometers of shoreline and stores, when at full capacity, six times as much water as Sydney Harbour. Lake Ilden National Park abuts a large percentage of the lake providing habitat for wildlife including kangaroos, wombats and bird life. Surrounding Lake Ilden are options of holiday homes, motels, hotels, bread and breakfasts, caravan parks, clubs, camping and a substantial houseboat fleet. Lake Ilden is the only waterway in Victoria where houseboats are permitted. Currently, there are licenses for around 750 houseboats to be on Lake Ilden. Houseboats range in shape, size and price from providing a caravanning experience on water to the latest houseboats. Lake Ilden is most popular with the recreational fisher person who chase the rainbow and brown trout and red fin. Over recent years, the lake has been seeded with Murray cod and golden perch by the Victorian Fisheries Authority. Water sports, skiing, wakeboarding, kayaking and canoeing are also most popular in this relatively safe waterway. Lake Ilden is a relatively safe waterway without any sharks, crocodile or jellyfish stingers. However, please note, you are not permitted to swim in this huge water stretch of Lake Ilden purely because of the algae content in the water. 
So after spending some beautiful time at uh, Lake Ilden, uh, like I said, it's not that far from Melbourne, depending on which route you come from. Um, there are so many ways to come. You can come down the Hume Highway, you can come down the Yarra Glen and Marunda Highway. So a whole heap of ways. I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell you about the way to come here. It's very easy. Just Google it and you can get here. But what I can tell you, you would rarely see such a big stretch of water which is a lake format and not a sea. So in Australia, Australia is famous, famous for its beaches, uh, of course, yes. But frankly speaking, I personally haven't seen such a huge stretch of blue, clean lake water. Um, and it's, I think it's probably the biggest lake, the biggest stretch of water inland. And, and, and look, at the, look at the backdrop, look at the, uh, the little bit of hills and you know the alpine range so it's a wonderful setup it's not just a flat lake because of the fact it comes between those little hills and mountains it just gets a different edge to it driving for a while so we aimlessly were driving you know up and around the Lake Ilden area and all of a sudden the quietness of the area just encapsulated us and we thought why don't you take a break and just stand still for a moment and show you how nice uh, the way the, the whole the environment is uh, right behind me is the lake the Lake Ilden and you can see um, the, the whole stretch of the Alpine ranges and there's a lake that goes between that so it's a massive stretch right from that end all the way to this end um, you can probably google it and find out how big and long it is but in my opinion what I'm looking at here from I can tell you it's a massive water stretch and of course as blue as that as serene as that as tranquil the weather is it's absolutely mind-blowing so for now I'll keep quiet and you have a look at this beautiful creation of nature With that we came to the end of a fantastic day out amongst the beauties and color and purity of nature. So until we meet again, keep safe, stay healthy and keep watching Sid Travelog. For more travel videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.